Hey, if you're new around here, let us bring you up to speed. This summer, we are exploring Europe, challenging ourselves to drive this 20 year old beast to the Mediterranean and back, stopping off at interesting places along the way. Today, our journey begins. Thanks for coming along with us. Finished work, we finished school. We're on our way on our holidays. So quick montage, and we'll show you where we're going. just parked up in the coach bit so there is a dedicated bit which we didn't find last time and then we've managed to get on a train an hour earlier than we're supposed to so we got here nice and early amazingly the m25 was all right yeah first time ever um we're just waiting you know for our boarding call so we're gonna have a sandwich sandwich big sandwich yeah that sandwich hi catch your own food lazy i've got anything to give you now Oh, he's very cute. Off we go. Hello. Follow the signs to France. So strange. Now, go under the channel. The concentration. It takes about 30 minutes, it's amazing. And we're on our way to France and we're gonna be here for a good few weeks. So this is what we're up to. I'm gonna make our way to our first campsite and set up for the night. You're saying, what are these? These yeah. are the wedges to go under wheels. Now apparently they're rated for five tons. I reckon we're gonna squash these to death. Yeah we are. We'll give them a go because we're gonna be here a couple of days. Let's open it. It's the worst that can happen. Yep. There's also a tarp for it as well. Basically I was gonna use the ramps but I have to think about it more and I got shamed because there's like a German man next door and he's got like all the gear and he looked like he knew what he was doing and I've got a clue. So we're just having a little scope around that everyone else is fine to see how you actually do it. gonna go for a little walkie walk and see what we can see. Mate, you're outside urinals. Basically like living like kings over here. You don't have to stop hanging around there when you No you can't hang around up down here. <laughs> Stay up in your own zone. That, that's the women's zone. This is the men's zone. You're having a wee with nature. Brilliant. It's a bar here. Got a bar, a restaurant Two swimming pools oh, we're going to check out tomorrow. Yes. And the weather's glorious because of thunderstorms at home, isn't it? Yeah. Kelly's got a beautiful new hat. It keeps flying off my head. Isn't it? Any tips on keeping a hat on the head? It's very welcome. <laughs> Head's massive as well, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't know why it's, it's quite windy. It's it's got got a bit prescription wind. hat on, mate. It's the hair too, bro. Shut up. Look at some of your hair compared to mine. I know. <laughs> It is bulbous. <laughs> we are headed along to the local village to see if we can get some treats. Because last time we did, and they were delicious. So we're going to see what they've got this time. Oh, we've got here. And it says they're uh, sharp for the summer. Well, until the 31st of July. So if you come after there, they'll be open again. But I think they do fresh bread and stuff in the morning. Yeah, we'll get it from. Send you down with some pennies to get it. I wanted a pastry. I did too. I've got strawberries and I'll make the tea when we get back. Oh, I've got to eat strawberries only. Mate, I've never seen a chicken like that before. Can you not? No, it's got a grace and style. Yeah. It looks like that, um... little on. What's his face? Rod Stewart? He looks like Rod Stewart. <laughs> We just had a visitor, someone come on and have a look around the van. Uh, couldn't speak English though, just wanted to have a look. First time that's happened before. Awning's up. 
just gonna make some tea. We have brought our outdoor cooktop. We've never used this before in the bus. We had it from our camping days, didn't we? Yeah. Just have a bell tent. Brown salad with peppers in it. Yeah. Including celery. We love celery in this family. What else? Burgers and pasta. Nice. Let's get it cooked up there. Look at it, think and eat it because he's cooking some burgers outside. Basically like Jamie Oliver, mate. But it's Jamie Oliver. 500% more handsome. Yeah, definitely. It's Jamie Oliver. Right, play this game. So we're playing five second rules and we've got one for you. So write in the comments what your answer will be. Name three things to do when you are bored. Keep it clean, people. <laughs> and one more. Name three things you trim. Put it in the comments. We went to bed early last night because we were tired. And we got up late, so late that we missed the bread. But we have found something to do because it is a bit overcast. We're going to make our way there after breakfast. There's one for history fans out there. Just over there in those woods, that's where our campsite is. And we're walking down this country lane. Or road, isn't it? Or road, whatever it is, to try and find it. And it's like a fairy tale ghost town. Got some stuff growing in the field here. We're really not sure what it is. Let us know. Can we Let us know. Grab something. But yeah, you find this, I think, in particularly northern France, it's just a lots and lots of farmland. But then in between it, there's obviously lots of things you can discover. Find cats everywhere. <laughs> you do find cats everywhere, don't you? Yeah. I doubt very much you can. <laughs> go on, mate, in you go. I don't know that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough room for water for people. <laughs> This is a submarine. How many missiles? It showed two missiles. How many people do you think it would fit? I think one. Mum thinks two. What do you think? Yeah. Round the corner, you see this. Imagine the bombs they must have dropped on this. You can go on into the blockhouse itself and inside it's like absolutely cavernous and they do like two modes so when we entered it was really dark for the ambience you go on through and there is like a history through the war and time so you know if you don't know about it or you want to learn more you can read it all through and as you get up through to the main chamber you can hear stories of how it came about uh, how it was initially bombed, turned into an oxygen factory, and some of the harrowing tales that happened there. They've got things in here that they would have used to attack the fortification, including this Disney bomb. So that was dropped from 6,000 meters, so that's 3.7 miles. And then at 1,500 meters, three propellers would have activated to bring it to twice the speed of sound. It was really worth a watch, really eye-opening, 
Lily wasn't that interested and was a bit scared so Kelly took her out but it's well worth a watch well worth coming on in and then when you come on out like for some practical information you can take some really good photos learn about more about the blockhouse and things that happened here and when you come outside we had a place to eat our lunch yeah. and this is where we are now um so it's 24 euros for all of us we got a discount code from the campsite which was cool lily got to see a cat yeah. if you wanted to bring your motor home here there's loads, loads of parking, parking like loads of parking down by there toilets everything you need and on the way back we're going to take a different route through the woods and see what we can see but it was worth a visit wasn't it yeah it was really good it's right by the campsite and if we hadn't spoken to one of our fellow campers this morning i wouldn't have known it was here so yeah really good would recommend a visit we've just been back at the van this afternoon um just chilling out a bit after that really good view around the bunker the walk back's really nice we walked back through the farmer's fields um through all of the wheat and took on the sites and the weather was really good Sweet. Is it sweet? Don't know. There you go. There's one there. Yeah, and there. It looks kind of orangey. It's not parsnips. Snips. We don't know what it is. We're walking back down the fields. We think this is a road. Um, I think we're going to be walking onto a farmer's land. Yeah, we're just being careful, aren't we? Windy. Very windy this way. Campsite's there, but you have to walk all the way around. We think it's taken a bit of a turn for the worst now we are gonna have to take the awning down which is fine because in the morning we're gonna be moving out nice and early to make our way along the coast we better get that in because we don't want it to uh, cause any damage and it's quite noisy morning we went to bed real early last night and we've come to find our first French supermarket this morning it's only three minutes from the campsite so we're just gonna go check it out find for if you come to stay in the same place. We're interested to see what it's like. Yeah. Probably the same. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. snacky snacks. We managed to get pastries. Yum 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 Don't get the moldy ones. Trying to figure out what is milk and what is yogurt is quite hard. I think they're just real simple things. Got some. Grab some water. We're back in the bus and there was a, something to learn here. Yeah. Get this through. You've got to weigh it and print it out and there's like a little thing at the end and you can see it. So we've got to tell and she was like, um, wait. I think a lot of supermarkets do it in the UK as well, but not all of them, do they? No. There we are. So it's quite a rainy day, but that brings us to a close of our first stop and we're hitting the road, making our way down the coast. So hopefully you can join us for that. The video will be up here where you can watch more of our travels. So hope you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. One, two, three. Bye. Bye.